You lost your best friend. Here, try again. Oh, I hit the nail on the head. You two get into some kind of a fight? And me doesn't like me anymore. Did she tell you this? No, her real friends did. Well, I think you better find out from Emmy direct yourself rather than relying on her friends. But what if she tells me she doesn't like me right to my face? I might cry or something. And then what would happen? Then you deal with it, Renee. Remember what I said about most folks being worried about the bomb? When people like us face danger every day, we're used to it. It makes us all stronger. Even you. Okay. Why don't you tell Daddy what he can do to make you feel better? Come on now. Let me win. <laughs> oh, no. You go ahead and roll the dice. Oh, double. <laughs> What's all this? This one's from Nathan. This one's from Garrett. Must use the same florist. Anyway, I got you on the docket tomorrow for that vexatious litigation case. This is one time I wish you weren't so efficient. You need more material on this? Maybe. Turns out our neighborhood cranks an armchair lawyer. She even quoted case law. Think she's going to give you a run for your money? It's not me I'm worried about. You'll do fine, Renee. Need anything else, let me know. Uh, Graham? Uh, about that wine and cheese thing. It's okay. I should have said something. I just wasn't sure if you meant a date. And, and if you did, whether or not that was such a good idea. The Bar Association has those wine and cheese things a few times a year. Don't worry about it. Great. I'm not going to kid you, Renee. I like you. And I bet I've got more in common with you than that reporter or Garrett. But the reality is, you're not interested. Graham, to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about any of this. But if I led you on in any way... You didn't. We just hit it off, despite ourselves. Stay. Davis, you better not be outside. I'm not. No, 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 no. Get away from my fence. Shoot. I told you to get that mangy animal away from my property. Hey. Get away from my fence. Shoot. 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 Did I tell you to stay inside? I didn't mean for him to get out. Well, you should both be inside, you little savages. Get away from my property. Oh. Too? Yes, I am, and I'd certainly like to know what's going on here. It seems uh, your animal attacked a certain Mrs. Spettisworth. Hey, Mom, he was just protecting us. She's the one who attacked us with her rake. Yeah, let me just get this straight. Is Lurla saying that our dog bit her? Threateningly lunged at her, causing a fall which may have broken her wrist. Wait a minute, wait. How come it is that you believe her words over my kids? We have to take this animal in while this is being investigated. He may be a threat to public safety. He was defending my kids. No, let him go, let him go. Davis, Davis, wait, just look, please. Don't, don't, don't do this. We'll keep him in. We'll put him on a leash. Anything you want, just don't do this, please. After your neighbor files a report, a determination will be made and you'll be notified. What kind of determination? If your dog's found to be a threat, he'll be put down. Uh, it's not there.
thought you might come here. It's kind of your safe place, isn't it? Want to talk? Yeah, you're pretty upset, huh? Yeah, I picked up on that. I'm real bright that way. Look, we are going to get Scout back, no matter what it takes. And Renee is going to help us fight her in court. Nobody can help us. They're going to kill him. No, honey, that's not true. Mrs. Spedis, what is going to kill Scout? She's going to take all our money and make us homeless. Honey, I don't know where this is coming from. It's what you think, isn't it? I just told him the same old half-truth BS like my parents used to tell me. Everything's going to be all right. Hopefully everything will be. That's funny. 